Hey guys, in today's video Flexi Starter, we're going to have an overview of the production manager found in Flexi Starter. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here, now, just so you guys know, this is going to be a mini series around the production manager. And then I'll also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. So now, first of all, when it comes to a production manager, this is used um, when you're doing cutting and plotting type jobs. And then what you can do is you can actually manage your um, projects and your jobs, set them up uniquely and how you want them to work. Now, you get a few different ways. You get... Um, uh, local which is on the current machine you get something on a local network or or something on the internet where you use a ip or so forth we're just going to be looking at the local as i currently don't have any machines set up um, online or through a network so first of all obviously we need to locate the project manager so there's two ways we can go about that or production manager sorry is um the first way is where you go in your start bar and then you navigate to where you have flexi start installed and then you will see from the drop down list, we've got the production manager. So you can click that to open it, or what you can do in the program, you just go to your cut and plot feature, which is found next to your print on your standard toolbar. And the shortcut for that is Control L. So now if we click that, it will um, ask us, like I mentioned earlier, what type of project or production we're going to do. So um, on this computer, local. Now say OK. And then we wait for it to start. So now it's going to start our cut and plot, but also the production manager, as you can see over here. So then from this, we've got uh, three or let's say maybe five main um, areas. So first of all, we've got the main menu on top here. Sorry, wrong button. Let me zoom in for you guys. So we've got the main menu. Then we've got the toolbar, which is this big one on top here. On the left here, we've got our actual setup area. So this will be where your printers and so forth are located. On the right here, we've got the actual job area. So this we can see the status and that of current jobs um, queued or active. Then on the right here, we've got our cloud window. So anything more online or so forth, we can use for this. And then uh, at the bottom here, we basically have some basic system settings. So we can have a checkup on our RAM or our memory to make sure we're not busy running out in our project. We've got a virtual RAM, and then we've got the actual space of our hard drive. So that uh, it's nice to be able to monitor this while you're working. But yeah, otherwise that is an overview of the production manager. Um, yeah, in the f future videos, we're going to go into more depth on these settings. But otherwise, if we head to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and also you can isolate your search here on the top right. If you do not, however, find the video looking for, just go here, request a training video, then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.